This is Ice Cream Gecko, and in today's video we are going to take a look at the Starbucks Chocolate Hazelnut Flavor Cappuccino Limited Edition. We've got chilled coffee, bold espresso, creamy milk, chocolate and hazelnut flavor. This is fantastic, isn't it? We've got one of these paper straws. Let's take off the lid so that you can, if you would like to, read the ingredients list right there, which I think that is. Is it? Possibly, yes. Uh, pause if you want to take a look at the nutrition table as well. And pause if you want to take a look at that. Oh, that's the ingredients list. You see, it's been a long day. Pause at any point <laughs> that you like. Oh my. So on the bottom here, it's best consumed by the 16th of November of this year. So I, I just assume that I have to shake this. So I'm going to shake this now. Fantastic shaking action, of course. Let us peel off the aluminium foil lid. That's unsatisfying. And it didn't even... Oh, man. Oh, man. Why is this happening? So, looks-wise, we've got a foamy mess, really. Let's see what it smells of. Oh, it smells chocolatey. It smells of um, chocolate milk with a bit of coffee in it. That bit of coffee is something that is um, quite prominent with Starbucks coffee, well, desserts, as I like to call them. Yeah, a dessert with a hint of coffee, or a milk chocolate with a, mil with a hint of coffee, I suppose. No, I shouldn't do that. I should use the paper straw, of course, because this is a to-go product that we shall consume as if we were on the move. So let's put on that lid and um, consume this, at least for the first few sips, through the paper straw. Mm. Yeah, smells, oh, smells. Taste of hot cocoa, just cold. Not much coffee flavor there. But definitely hazelnut. Mm -hmm. No, it, um, it doesn't taste of coffee. It tastes of cold hot cocoa with hazelnut flavor. That's um, what it tastes of, which is fine by me. It's completely fine by me. It's just not, just not coffee for me, is it? Let's see. Bit more foam, and we can see here. If I were to angle the light a bit differently, and we zoom in on that, we see a lovely colour. It, um, yeah, I mean, I don't have much to complain about, other than this not really reminding me of coffee too much. It tastes of like a milk chocolate with um, milk chocolate beverage with hazelnut flavour, that's really all it is. And uh, I do like it the way it is, yes, definitely. I was thinking about not having coffee at um, well, after 5 p.m., because I usually try to avoid coffee after 12, well, afternoon, so that I can sleep properly, but my, my sleep is, is messed up always anyway, so I do not know if this is the worst thing to do today, and since this doesn't taste of coffee, this is hopefully not messing with my sleep too much. Mm. Yeah, quite a bit of hazelnut flavor in that milk chocolate beverage. Mm -hmm. That's really nice. It's really nice. I am giving this... Because they, they still put cappuccino on this, it, it doesn't feel or taste like a cappuccino, I don't think, no. But I'll give this an 8 out of 10 because I really do like the flavour. That, that hazelnut flavour is nice, that chocolate flavour is nice. Overall, very enjoyable. And, um, yeah. Now, will I get this again? Probably not. This was on sale, I do not remember the price, but these are usually too expensive for me. The, 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 the serving size is a bit too too small for me as well, so... But I have to say that uh, if you've got the money to spend and want to have something that tastes of hazelnut and a chocolate beverage, feel free to go for this, this limited edition, an 8 out of 10 for the Starbucks Chocolate Hazelnut Flavor Cappuccino. 
and this is where I'm going to end this particular video. If you have got a question or a video suggestion, leave it in the comment section down below. And if you want to see more videos just like this one, feel free to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and I hope I'm going to see you soon. Until then.